Ciao, welcome to Beatspot, I'm Marco and in this video I am reviewing Playfair Audio Dynamic Grading. This plugin is golden, it's really golden. So this is the plugin and if you've already seen my review of the Sonyball Smart Comp 2, I was really hyped by the freeform function which kind of allowed to tweak the dynamic range of the lower uh, passages of the dynamic range of source, uh, kind of independently from uh, what was going on at the threshold range. This kind of takes that concept to the next level. So on their website, they state, how would you use or think of dynamic processing if the compressor has never been invented? And so that's a huge take, kind of philosophical. And so the concept is, we have the input and we can kind of decide whether to expand, compress, or even limiting that range while doing the exact opposite or the same thing but less or more another range. So we have minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, minus 50, minus 60. So I have these loaded on my mix bus. Okay, I mean, I'm really excited about this plugin because the concept is so simple that I mean, there was another plugin, Node plugin, doing this stuff, but the GUI was terrible, the user experience was terrible, and having this polished version, it's great. I know I might look like a bit of a fanboy, but this is great if you make like, if you really like mixing and solving problems within sounds and kind of squeezing out all the character and loudness volume out of a track. So let's play the track. So this is the track. Now let's start tweaking this whole stuff. We can also move these bands. So let's say we want to do this expansion So just look at the volume. So we barely changed the volume, the peak volume, and the whole track sounds way more dense. So now I'm applying it like in a bad way because I still have to get a grasp on it, but I mean, you really get the potential of this stuff. So now let's explore the interface. So here we have the time window. We have 32, 16, 8. And so, I mean, this one should be the fastest. And this one is the slowest. Okay, that's really great. Now here we have these two meters. Here we have the toggle curve display, so okay, so this is how much we are like, okay, so I think this is probably what we are doing, so this is the, the curve that we are applying. We 
You also have a response thing, so it's basically the speed, I guess. Okay, now let's look at the spectrum. So I think this probably shows all the frequencies with distribution in volume like brown, pink or white noise. Uh, okay. So this is what plugin is doing. I really like it. I already used something like the M Wave Shaper by Melda Production to kind of make the lower passages beefier, but I had to be really conservative because that was really wave shaping. So adding too much of it was kind of saturating in a bad way, but at very little percentages, it helped me achieve that kind of sound, but not as much as this plugin. And this also helps with giving up, I mean, not using parallel processing, I mean, squashing the whole signal and then mixing it back with a dry source um, I mean it's, it's something that works but this one it's more direct more surgical and I mean it's targeted you you do what you want you basically grab the dynamics and make the whole thing like softer more dynamic or more condensed and you really have your hands on the dynamics and this is a great mastering tool but if you use it like at on the drum bus, the instrument bus, on the bass bus, on the vocal bus, this really helps with making the whole stuff thicker and also natural, I think, because at very low percentages, you, you can really squeeze out the loudness out of every inch of your mix. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this plugin as much as I do, because this is going to be a staple in my mixing workflow. You are going to see this in so many future tutorials, tips and stuff, because that's unique. That's really unique and that's something, I mean, I, I didn't even afford to dream of. It's, it's great. Good job. And see you in the next one.